Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MATLAB simulation of sliding mode control strategy of dynamic voltage restorer. Thanks for watching our videos and kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So first we have to discuss about what is dynamic voltage restorer. For example, you consider this is a distribution feeder, right? So this the distribution feeder having two lines, right? One line is connected with the domestic load and another line is connected with the sense the sensitivity load like computer and server. Okay. For example, uh, any fault occur in the distribution feeder, for example, the fault will be occur in the uh, this line, right? So because of this fault, so what will be happen? The voltage act will be occur in the, the distribution feeder. Okay. So when voltage act will be occur in the distribution feeder, what happen? It going to affect affect this the sensitivity loads. Okay. So we need to maintain the distribution feeder uh, voltage always one per unit because uh, we need to protect that uh, sensitivity load, right? So in order to protect the, that the sensitivity load, uh, because uh, during the fault uh, um, the sag will be occur for the fraction of seconds, right? During that uh, time, we need to maintain load voltage uh, at uh, sensitive load at uh, one point. Okay. So for the purpose, uh, we got to use Powertronics um, device to mitigate this problem. Okay. So here we are going to use a DVR, nothing but a dynamic voltage restorer. So this DVR consists of uh, DC energy stores and the IGBT converter. Okay. So here we need to measure that the distribution feeder voltage and then based upon the distribution feeder voltage so this the dvr will be supply some uh, inject some voltage to the system not to maintain the load in the load uh, load voltage at one per unit in the sensitivity load okay so this is the use of this dynamic voltage restorer so he, now we are going to see about how we can implement this uh, dvr in the MATLAB okay and also you have to discuss about sliding mode control in the system so this the system is implemented um, uh, for this uh, uh, explaining about dynamic voltage restorer so here you can see here we have two kind of uh, a load as like in the distribution feeder right so this is nothing but uh, normal uh, domestic load or nonlinear load okay you and then you can see here this is uh, this is known as uh, uh, we are going to consider a sensitivity load right so this is known as <coughs> normal load or unbalanced load right this is known as sensitivity load so we need to protect this uh, sensitive load during the voltage sag that means we need to maintain a uh, voltage at one per unit during voltage sag because of this fault so here we are created the fault so what happened because of this fault what happened that grid voltage will be uh, that means the grid, uh, grid voltage have sag right so we need to mitigate that problem so for that we have to install dvr here dvr is one kind of uh, series filter okay so this is dvr and then here we need to measure load voltage that means this one so here we need to measure the load voltage so load voltage is given to this dvr control okay and also this series filter having dc source so here we created that uh, uh, that mean sorry uh, this is the source uh, it is having voltage of 415 and 50 hz and then uh, we need to measure the low load voltage from here and it's given to dvr control so inside you can go here so here first we need to convert it into per unit right so we have to measure the voltage and then is processed via filter and then going to divide with the 415 so that means we are we are converting it into per unit value and then here we have abc quantity so in order to control the system simply or uh, easy manner so we need to convert that uh, abc quantity into dq naught so for that we are using here abc to dq naught conversion and then so here we need to control only the 
do data one is direct access data and coded coded access data that means just you have to take only vd and vq voltage so vd is going to be compared with the reference voltage and then vq going to be compared with the zero so and then after comparison right so, so here we are going to do done that comparison so after that you have to process via slidey mode control so inside you can see that so so this is a slidey mode control we are used here we have to control that we uh, that mean uh, vd voltage and vq voltage the same kind of slidey mode control used in the vq side also so after that we are getting that uh, control voltage here so next you have to convert uh, we are uh, we are going to convert that uh, controlled uh, dq not voltage into abc so here we are going to combine that one dq not to uh, then mean uh, this uh, combined here and then here we have dq not and then it going to be converted into actual abc by using this uh, conversion so this is nothing but a dq not to abc conversion so after after here we are having only that control signal in the per unit so that should be converted into actual so that's why you have to multiple multiply it with the 415 volt after that we have to convert this controlled reference voltage is compared with the load voltage and then process via so here we are comparing that uh, the control reference voltage with the load voltage and process via this series controller to generate the pulse for that uh, series filter so here we have that pulse so that pulse going to be given to the series filter so based upon this load voltage whenever the voltage sag occur in the system so this will be generate the or inject the voltage into the system in order to maintain this voltage always at one per unit so this is a concept so next you can see here uh, the fault will be occur the 0.1 to 0.3 seconds and also we generate some harmonics in 0.4 to 0.5 okay so we can check the uh, performance of the system during fault as well as harmonics so here we are measuring that uh, uh, grid voltage load voltage and injected voltage so you have to check the uh, detail here so now i'm going to simulate this model so this is grid voltage so this is load voltage and then this injected voltage in the distribution feeder in the sens sensitivity load area after 0.1 second fault will be occur you can see the variation in the grid voltage and load voltage so now you can see that because of that fault what happened uh, the voltage will be is not uh, that mean we are having uh, voltage ag in the system with the two phases right so but you can see here that load voltage is maintained at one per unit so because of that dvr dvr is injecting some voltage to maintain the load uh, always one per unit so from 0.1 second to 0.3 seconds So in the DVR effectively uh, control that uh, voltage sag or mitigate the voltage sag in the load side because of this uh, fault, right? So we can check after 0.3 second. So after 0.3 second, the fault will be uh, uh, removed from the system. So we can we can see the response of the system after removing removing that fault. So during that way, you can see the. Uh, grid voltage load voltage and uh, uh, injected voltage from the dvr so here you can see that system is used to order so because of that uh, grid voltage maintained at one per unit as well as load voltage maintained at one per unit now you can see that dvr is not working now right after 0.2 second we are injecting some harmonic in the grid voltage so we need to check the response of the system whether load voltage maintained at one per unit or not, or not because of the harmonics so now we can see that the harmonic injected in the grid because of the grid voltage is not uh, sinusoidal 
but you can see that uh, load voltage is maintained at one point because the D were injecting that uh, harmonic uh, voltage right opposite to the that grid voltage right so that's why that load will maintain at one point always so this is a performance of the dynamic dynamic voltage restorer with the slidey mode control thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about up upcoming videos thank you thank you so much